This video is gonna sting a little bit because I'm gonna explain to you 10 reasons why people don't become rich and some of them pertains you. Yes, you, you're gonna say, I don't like this video because a part of this is me. So before I get right into it, any questions, thoughts, comment, comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, click on the sub button as well because we got many more videos like this that are going to stink if you haven't watched them yet. Let me get right into it. Point number one, why you are not going to become rich. Ready? You don't like rich people. If you don't like rich people, you're not gonna become rich. Okay, very simple. Point number two, you think rich people are special. You think people who are very wealthy became very wealthy because they are just so much more special than you are. It's one of the biggest misconceptions in the world. They became rich because at some point they said, I think I can do something with my life. I'm sick of it. I figured out certain talents of mine. I don't like this thing. My life sucks. I want changes and they changed. Very simple. You can do that as well. Point number three, you don't spend enough time learning. Let me explain to you why. I want you to go on your YouTube channel and forget about if you don't have a YouTube channel. Go on the search button above and click on history and watch the last 20 videos you have watched on YouTube. And this is what I want you to do. Categorize the videos on which ones of them are educational and which ones are entertainment. If 50% or more of the videos are entertainment, you're not really fully committed to wanting to become wealthy. You're more committed to become entertained and it's not going to happen. Go on YouTube and look, the top 1,000 videos, keep going until you find the first video that has to do with a how-to. You know how many videos are ahead? Hundreds if not thousands because most of the world doesn't care about wanting to fully find the secrets about business and life and entrepreneurship. They want to be entertained. This is why Hollywood makes so much money because they know most of the world is fully just committed to entertainment. That may be you. Go look at your search. By the way, you can go on your history also on your Google and look what websites you visit and what you do with your time that you have. Point number four, people easily make you feel guilty about all the decisions that you make. Everything you do, your girlfriend says something, you feel guilty. Your boyfriend says something, you feel guilty. Your boss says something, you feel guilty. Your teacher says something, everything to you is about making you feel guilty and you are crippled by everybody making you feel guilty. This leads me to point number five. Here's what point number five is. You worry too much about what people think about you, way too much. You know what point number six is? It's kind of a contradiction of point number five, but I'll explain to you why it is. Point number six, you worry too little about what the right people think about you. What are the right people? The right people are the people that are helping you get to the next level. The right people are the customers that are buying from you. The right people are the people that are trying to give you an education about business, entrepreneurship, growing. You worry too little about these guys. You worry way too much about the people that have no desire to help you get to the next level. Zero. Point number seven, you listen to every single thing your parents tell you to do. My parents raised me, a lot of my discipline comes from my father, I love my mom, I love my dad, I bleed Bed David and Bogosian for the rest of my life, but my parents are not entrepreneurs. And they're not gonna be able to convince me how to manage my money, manage my finances, they've never owned a mutual fund, they've never owned a stock, they've never been millionaires, they've never been rich. What can they teach me about becoming successful in my life? By the way, for some of you that are so connected to it, they're like, oh my gosh, that's insulting. It is not insulting. It is not insulting. My kids, let me explain. If my kid wants to be a professional baseball player, okay, if he takes advice from me on baseball, on how to swing the ball when he goes to the next level, there's a problem there. I didn't make it to the major leagues. He needs to listen to his coach. I can be a fan and tell him, hey, this is what A-Rod did, and this is what, you know, Ken Griffey had a beautiful swing, but I'm just a fan. Hey, that kid better listen to his batting coach who was in a major league baseball. The same goes with business. Your parents love you. Your mom and dad are great. Believe me, everyone's parents are mostly great. They did their best with you. Not everybody has perfect parents, but most people have pretty good parents. They're not gonna teach you how to become millionaires, unless if they did. If they did, take their counsel. If they didn't, scratch their philosophies for business, go learn from somebody that made it. Point number eight, here's point number eight. You are way too loyal to every single family tradition that you have. Politically, let me explain. Financially, work ethic, diet, what they eat, what they complain about, what they bitch about, what they talk about, you're so loyal to those traditions. So loyal to them. I'm not talking traditions of prayer. I'm not talking traditions of, you know, getting together and, you know, having dinner and breaking bread and talking. I'm not talking those kinds of traditions. I'm talking about the traditions that have not worked for your family. Traditions of money. When they say, honey, 
Life is not all about money. Hey, babe, I hope you realize you're working a little too hard. What do you want me to do, mom? You want me to work nine to five? So I'm broke for the rest of my life? Is that what you want me to do? What happened to you guys? Are you guys doing well financially? You really want me to stress out about money the rest of my life? I'm sorry, I don't want to subscribe to that thinking. That's the traditions. You don't have to fully commit to those traditions. Unfortunately, most people do. Point number nine, you're an expert at making excuses. Literally, everything that happens in your life, you got a great excuse for it. Everything. I couldn't show up. It was raining. I was sick. I had a flu. My dog was sick. My mom wasn't in a good mood. Such and such happened. I mean, you know, this is what happened. My leg, I was cramping. I had a hard workout. You don't understand. My favorite team is playing. Excuse galore for everything if you have that Money is just not attracted to excuses, just kind of how this thing works. And last but not least, point number 10. And this one, it's, you know, I mean, I don't know what other way to put it. It's actually quite simple. Your attitude sucks. If your attitude sucks, no one is turned on by an attitude like that. They're just not. If your attitude is always complaining, bitching about everything that's happened in your life, people just don't want to be around it. Think about it this way. You ever see a guy that dates a hot girl and he's not that attractive? How do you think he got her? It's not because he's physically attractive. It's because his personality is attractive. His attitude is attractive. She just wants to be around him. She feels good. He makes her laugh. You know, he's like, we're going places. Life's going to be good. We're going to have a good time. It's the same exact way how money is. Money's turned on by incredible attitude. Very simple to have a great attitude, by the way, right? It's not that difficult to do, but money's turned on by great attitude. So now, you got those 10 signs that you'll never be rich. You know what the good news is? Every one of those things, you can change like this. Every one of them. So whatever you wrote down here, and you're sitting there saying, man, I suck. I'm never going to be wealthy. I'm never going to be rich. Yeah, you are not going to be rich, but we have certain things in life that were given to all of us, and one of the great things about life is you have a choice. You can change. You can make a decision right now while you're watching this video. I am changing like I'm telling you, no one's going to recognize me after watching this video. Not a single person in the world, my family, my mom, my dad, my dad, my sister, my girlfriend. You want everybody, after you watch this video, for them to say the following. It's gotten kind of into you. Did you have a lot of coffee today? Did you go to Starbucks? What do you want, bro? Is everything okay? You're going to say, yes, everything's okay because I'm trying to attract myself some money, baby. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to seduce. Is it working? What do you think, mom, dad? Am I kind of a little bit different? Good things are coming around the corner for me. Like this, it can change. And then all of a sudden, start, things start happening for you. Truly, it starts happening for you, but you got to change. Now, again, questions, thoughts, comments, comment below. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.